Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating an echo text animation here in After Effects. This text animation is set to elevate the quality of your videos to the highest level, so make sure to stay with this tutorial until the very end. And before we begin, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video clips. So let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl or Command plus N or on this little icon, this is gonna be final like usual with 9020 by 1080 frame rate 30 frames per second and duration 10 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create background, go right click, find here new solid, this is gonna be background and then hit OK. Now go here in the Facts and Preset and if you can't find this option just go Window and you will find Effects and Presets here. Now type here Ramp Effect, drag and drop onto the background solid layer, OK and let's make a further adjustments for the start of the ramp like usual upper left corner or end of the ramp lower right corner and here basically you can change colors according your needs. I will do maybe this type of green color, something like this, hit OK and for the end color let's change to this cyan blue color and now as you can see we have this cool looking gradient. Ok this is our background now go right click to create new solid layer again this is gonna be ball action also 1920 by 1080 then hit ok go here in the facts and preset find ball action drag and drop onto this layer and here let's also make further adjustments for the grid spacing let's leave it to 5 for the ball size let's go around 10. Ok, now let's also add fill effect, drag and drop here above ball action and here you can also change colors of our ball action effect but I will leave this one to black color and then hit ok. I will close this effects control for now, ok and now let's create another composition, hit on this little icon again, this is gonna be just text composition also 1920 by 1080 and then hit ok. Now hit Ctrl plus T on your keyboard or go on this uh, horizontal type icon and I will just type my own text, echo effect, ok, align it to the center. If you can't find align and paragraph option, also go window and you will find align and paragraph options here. Ok, as you can see I'm using this Galleon Bolt font. Uh, 175 size and if you can't find this uh, stroke option just hit on this uh, little icon to swap fill and stroke and really important set the stroke width to around 3 pixels. Ok and now let's open up this little triangle and let's animate this echo effect. Go here on animate find position and also let's go here on add find here property and find here opacity. For the position let's type here minus 450 ok somewhere around here and let's also open this range selector one set up the playhead to around zero frames and let's animate start and offset parameter for the start let's set up the first keyframe leave it to zero and for the offset also set up the first keyframe and type here minus 100 for the offset then go around two seconds or so ok and for the start let's type here 100 and for the offset let's type here instead of minus 100 type here 100. And now as you can see we have this type of animation, now let's open this advanced option and for the shape instead of square find here ramp up, also for the is high and is low type 50 and also if you want to randomize order just hit here and turn this on option for randomize order. Now when we hit zero we have this cool animation of our echo effect. One thing that we have forgotten to do is to find here also opacity and leave this opacity from 100 to 0%. And now as you can see we have also this cool fade of our echo effect text. Ok now let's go here to around 1 second and 15 frames ok and then go here on animate again find here tracking set up the first keyframe for tracking amount. Ok, and then go to around 2 seconds and 15 frames and let's type here maybe 20. Now grab those two keyframes, go right click keyframe assistance to easy ease or hit F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and draw a curve like this. Ok, and if you can't find curve like this just go right click and just hit here edit speed graph. 
okay now when we hit zero in the timeline we have this cool animation of our echo effect hit cue to show all of the keyframes and you can reposition and readjust in every moment later on hit zero again and this is looking cool okay now it's time to import our text composition here in the final composition select here from the project window just drag and drop here in the finals okay now we have this uh, cool echo effect and let's also add a few further effects go here in effects and preset first effect is going to be fill drag and drop and here basically you can change colors but i will leave this one to white color hit ok our next effect is going to be echo effect okay drag and drop below this uh, fill effect and here let's also make a few adjustments for the number of echoes you can play around i will go to around 10 and for the start intensity i will type 0.40 okay and now as you can see we have this cool echo effect here in the final composition and for the last effect this is gonna be glow effect drag and drop also on the text composition and here i will do maybe for the glow threshold 80 and for the glow radius also 80 and for the glow intensity maybe 0.7 somewhere around here and as you can see we have also cool looking glow effect echo effect and this is looking really cool for the next step let's duplicate this text composition for a few times hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate move this one down you can use arrows and shift on your keyboard hit ctrl plus d once again move it below this one and then select all of the compositions hit ctrl plus d again move this one above and just reposition here in our final scene and this is looking cool now grab all of the composition and just move it down to fit here in the center of our final comb i will just set the resolution here to quarter and just hit zero and now we have this cool looking echo effect now what we can do also is to reposition randomly our text composition i will do this one and this one to around 15 and 1 seconds and also for this one 15 frames ahead and this one one second ahead i'm just showing you the way of course you can play around here with the repositioning of our composition hit zero again and now as you can see we have this random echo effect here in our final composition and this is looking really cool to me Okay, I will now select all of the composition and pre-compose them. You can use shift on your keyboard and just left mouse click to select them all. Then go right click to pre-compose. This is going to be text plus elements and then hit OK. Now let's duplicate this text plus elements once. Hit Ctrl plus D. And for the bottom one, let's rename this one to shadows. Okay, go here in the facts and preset. Find CC radial fast blur. Okay and just drag and drop onto the shadows composition also let's add fill effect find here fill okay drag and drop above this radial fast blur change color of course to black color and for this radial fast blur effect you can play around for the point i will go somewhere around here and for the amount let's try maybe 85 and our shadows are looking cool here in the final composition you can also add third effect this is gonna be Gaussian blur okay and let's type for the blurriness maybe to around 20 this is with and this is without this gaussian blur effect you can play around with the options but everything is pretty much to you okay this is looking cool you can also duplicate those shadows if you want once again but i will just delete i'm showing you the way this is looking cool and when we hit zero we have this also cool effect of our shadows here in the finals okay for the next step let's also create another adjustment layer go right click to create new adjustment layer okay this is gonna be curves go here in the facts and preset find curves effect drag and drop onto the curves adjustment layer and here you can play around with the darker and brighter parts of the scene something like this this is looking cool and now let's add another adjustment layer go right click to create new adjustment layer again this is gonna be light wipe okay go here in the facts and preset find light wipe effect okay drag and drop onto the adjustment layer move this light wipe above this ball action effect and for the completion let's go to around 80 percent and for the intensity let's go to around 60 like so check this option color from source also reverse transition and as you can see this is already looking cool you can play around here with the completion 
and also for this point for the center i will go somewhere around here this is looking cool maybe for completion to go to around 60 or 70 percent also you can play around here with the intensity maybe to bring this up to maybe around 140 just play around until you're satisfied with this final result also hit here toggle switches and modes change here maybe blending mode to screen and now as you can see our light wipe effect is looking awesome and is looking cool just play around until you're satisfied with your final results you can also hit t for the opacity and play around here in the timeline maybe to go to around 60 percent now when we hit zero this is looking awesome and also for the final step what we can do is to go right click again find here new adjustment layer lens flare okay go here in the fact and preset also find lens flare effect okay drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and basically also you can play around here duplicate this one maybe to readjust this to the opposite side okay and for the lens type change here to maybe this type you can also animate this one and for me this is looking really really awesome and really really creative all right guys uh, that is everything for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new in this one if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button if you found this video useful also take a look on my channel on my profile for more great tutorials leave me a comment down below in the comment section and until next time stay creative and bye bye